Yeah, that's me. Head down, feet up, about to eat canvas. See, but my judo journey really only started a short time before this. Also, this video is brought to you by War Thunder. We'll get back to that in a minute. I had my first official class from Austin Cook and Alex Lamont, where I learned uh, the basics. Okay, I was kind of thrusted into it all, but while setting this whole thing up, I got a text. A message from Austin, national judo champion, if I wanted to also compete in a tournament. And very responsibly, I said yes. Oh, by the way, this tournament was for the next day. <laughs> My gi is still so wet. Not really much more I can do to train at this point other than watch people and see how people win and lose, but that's about it. Hopefully it's here. I was already a bundle of nerves. I had just finished one of the hardest training sessions of my life 12 hours prior. Oh no, is the power out? It's dark in here. In my brain, I like couldn't even decide if I was relieved or upset that there was no power. What's your name? Seth Adams. Oh, oh hey Seth. <laughs> I'm here for the spooky judo tournament. Oh yeah, yeah you've been uh, blessed by uh, the gods, Hades, uh, <laughs> but we'll just tap into that today. <laughs> That's right. Nope, we won't. We won't tap into it. It got postponed a week. But I stayed true to the video formula. One practice, one tournament. No extra training. So I have, for the purity of the video, not practiced at all. Except for one time in, in, uh, in the backyard. I'm sure I look dumb. But, um, so what division am I in? In the heavyweight novice division. Okay. So that goes from white to green belt. Okay. And um, even though it's novice, there's some tough guys in there. Yeah. Like one of them is a jiu-jitsu black belt. Why did you bring them? You knew this was happening. <laughs> you were supposed to like sandbag. Yeah, this competition is clearly going to be rigged. But now I know that, so I can ask a bunch of people for advice because, again, I really don't know what I'm doing. I am nervous. There is good news though, I'm probably not going to go first, I'm a heavier guy. So that means I'm going to have time to watch everybody else's match, get a lay of the land and see how it all kind of plays. Did, was that my, did they say my name? I am the literal first match of the day. I am the person here who knows the least and I'm going first. I'm freaking out man, I'm nervous. I, do I walk in and bow? I got Austin as the coach in my corner, but I'm like, I, I don't even, how many, like when does it start? How do, my belt tied correctly? Like, am I wearing the right thing? Where's my mouth guard? All of these thoughts are running through my head at a thousand miles a minute. And then suddenly, nothing. But this little sound and the corners of my vision start to darken and blur. Hey. I find myself in a position that we didn't practice on Friday called Niwaza. It's the ground fighting portion of judo, which I forgot was a thing. I end up burning a lot of energy trying to flip them over and get this armbar. An armbar would get me the win, but I'll be honest, I'm not even that confident in my armbar. So we get stood up, I look at the clock, and it says one minute and 30 seconds. And it's the first time I realize, I have no idea how long these matches are. I land another takedown here, but I'll be honest, my confidence doesn't go up any. Because you have to hit a specific type of takedown to win. One where they land flat on their back. Both of us go back and forth, throwing each other, but also nullifying each other's takedowns at the same time. Consequently, exhausting both my body, and I'll be honest, my spirit. All while I still have no idea how long this match is gonna go. It's now been two and a half minutes, and I'm exhausted. That is, until I got another opportunity for this armbar. 
Go for the juju. Yes, yeah. pull. Yes, pull. Extend. I managed to get a good position where I can wrap my legs around his arm. And in the transitioning to try and make it work, he gets out of it. At this point, it's been around 4 minutes and 32 seconds. Who knows how many times I've looked at the clock at this point. All I can really hope for is he is just as tired as I am. And that I have a little bit of burst left. Yes, go, 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 go! Yes, go, drive, 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 yes! Match is always the toughest. You got the lung burner out of the way. That was perfect. You committed. You were getting better as you were going. I didn't warm up at all. That's good. That's, that's good. I didn't think it'd be this soon. You were starting to get a feel for it, and that, that hip was perfect. Yeah. When you're in, just know you have that. All you have to do is reap. Yeah, reap. Okay. So you committed more and more as the match went on, and it yeah. couldn't have been better. You, your strength is the hip to hip and beat game. You, yeah, yeah, that, was, that was perfect. Beautiful Jamada. I'm so Austin continued to coach me through kumikata, which is like the grip fighting portion, but I'll be honest, I was getting kumi nada, nothing. I was blank staring into the distance. First first experience? First, first match is the worst match. That's the worst match. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That was a fantastic round though. Yeah. Why was that guy so hard to throw? He felt like a like a tank. Oh, speaking of tanks, uh, today's video is actually brought to you by War Thunder. That was pretty good, huh? War Thunder is an epic free-to-play military action game. You can get it on PC, Xbox, PlayStation. I personally played on the Xbox. It's a very good time. They focus on capturing the scale and intensity of the battles. So you're moving around these awesome machines. And then the sounds that they make, realistic. The effects, realistic. The detail, look at how impressive that specimen is just flying around. Oh, no, sorry, that, that one's me. There's dozens of vehicles you can play as. You can be ground, naval, air. What's cool is the damage system kind of works the same way as sparring. Like in sparring, you don't know exactly how damaged the other person is. You just kind of see their reaction. Well, War Thunder is the same way. Depending on what you hit in battle, you get a reaction from that vehicle, which is so cool. You can play in the desert, the forest, snow-covered mountains. The locations are all inspired by like real world places. They recently had an update called Sons of Attila. It added like these Hungarian ground vehicles. They added voice warning systems when you're in the aerial battles. They improved the graphics. They're like, always doing these updates. So the game is always getting better. You can download War Thunder for free in the link down below. All new players and those who haven't played the game for half a year or more will receive the American Vehicle Bonus. Which gives you free premium vehicle, rentals for specialty vehicles, unique skins, and more. Again, War Thunder is a very fun game. I spent the other night like three hours playing it. Three hours well spent. <laughs> you can get that link down below. Thank you for sponsoring the video. What was I talking about? Tanks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't talking about anything. I was trying to get the lungs out of my butt because I've got another match coming up. Uh, that's okay. Because it's going to suck for four more. For three more, then I'm going to win. <laughs> that is awfully confident for a guy who didn't even know how he won the last match. I can tell you how I lost this match, though. He took me down and pinned me to the ground. Like a middle school boy. He might as well have hocked a loogie on me. Okay. But yeah, do you remember this warning that I got earlier? Yeah, like one of them is a jiu-jitsu black belt. Oh, sick, cool, awesome. Guess what, found him. But there's still hope for the day. Double elimination. If I'm gonna win another match though, I'm gonna need to train through a montage. Amongst other things, here's what I learned in between my matches. One, they're five minutes long. Good to know. Two, they end when you score one full point. This either comes by a throw, where they land flat on their back, like we mentioned, or a submission. Because I'm not as technically efficient as other people, I'm gonna have to try and muscle my way through this. And I have zero explosiveness right now. I gotta try and tap back into it. I'm not familiar with what they're gonna do. Uh, yeah. So I'm like, don't worry, just worry about what you're gonna do. Yeah. Up closing the distance and yeah. getting to where you're familiar. Yeah, okay.
That was sick. That sucks. That was beautiful. That was clean. Damn it. So is that it? I think so. It's double wound. That's that clean. He's from our club. Yeah, yeah it looks really good. Very, very, he's very good. It was nice. Nice job. I've tried to be a little more active that time. Hey. It's fine. You're, you're doing another division too, right? I don't think so. You can if you want. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Austin made a good point. I mean, there's another opportunity for me to compete, but at this point, I'm tired. I'm mentally sad. <laughs> like, it's not enjoyable to lose. But then I started to think back on what the origin of judo actually is. Dr. Jigoro Kano, founder of judo, so far as I've learned it, it's that his dad, uh, very steeped in this, what was Japanese jiu-jitsu from like the samurai. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. This, this, mar this truly martial, martial art that was their training to fight on the battlefield. Right. And at this point, it's like 1800s Japan. It's not feudal. So he wants to take what are, what he calls the lethal techniques. Mm. So techniques for throwing people to the ground, yep. where traditionally you would draw your short sword and, and, stab. and stab them. Oh, okay. Or submission techniques, chokes. Mm. And he wants to distill those in a way that can be practiced by your everyday mm. person. And that's why in judo the ippon is a win because if you throw someone square to their back yeah. or on their head yeah. on a cushy mat like, like we have here, that's one thing. It sucks. You can get the wind right. knocked out of you. For sure. But on the hard ground, I mean, you can, yeah. <laughs> you can die or get knocked 100%, out. 100% you could die. You know, so. <sighs> I gotta quit being such a baby. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. I entered into the next thing I could, which is King of the Hill. Everybody competing gets in this long line. The first two matches start, and if you win, you stay in. The first person to get 10 e-bones wins the whole King of the Hill. And for my first match, I have one of the two men who have been coaching me. Okay, so that's to be expected. Surely I won't wait another 10 minutes and then get another black belt. Okay, you know what? No more losing. I'm sick of it. He's tired because he just won. I'm a little fresh. Let's get after it. My nemesis. It's Marcos. I didn't think it would come to this again. Quality attacks. Hey! The Harai Marcos. <laughs> the Harai. Funny enough, kind of everything I've learned about judo has been from Marcos. You know, aside from the copious amounts of instruction that both Alex and Austin have given me, and then also Shintaro Higashi uh, two years ago. But when I think of judo competition, I think of Marcos. <laughs> like, you turn it on, and it's up, yeah. <laughs> and as much of my memory of our rivalry gives me angst, and this pit in my stomach of exhaustion, it also brings me great joy. So it's only fitting that I give it my all for this one last match. Oh, unfortunately though, for the time, uh, I actually was out of my all. Um, in fact, I was left with uh, none. So, well done, Marcos. <laughs> Until next time. I was That was brutal. All right, guys. 
that was uh, judo. I won two matches. I lost four. Three? Lost three. Three. I don't even know. Guys, subscribe, okay? Grow up. All right, grow up. When else do you see grown men go through this? Should I get a new job? Oh, also, I got bronze. Um, I think there was five of us. Third place is Seth Adams. First place, Joshua Woosley. Second place, Paul Bernate. Third place. Unexpected, but I'll take Marianne it. Marion Simmons. Again, another big thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. It's incredibly fun, it's free, and it's linked down below.